The inside of the cave connects to a fissure on the coastline. It seems large enough to contain another fissure. Sailors dread passing through this area. There are myriad tales of ships disappearing here. It's my turn. Voila! Get him! A beautiful voice in the sea calls out to you. You'd heard of Mermaid's legendary curiosity. She asks you many questions. From your conversation, you learned Gustav's ship was indeed attacked by pirates. That means the pirates likely have the orb. According to the Mermaid, the pirates scattered throughout the islands use this area as a hub for trade amongst themselves. Rumors came that among their treasures is a magic lamp that can call forth a genius. Duplicitous. Hmm? It was all a ruse. It's my turn. 
simple. Oh my. right into the pirate's head. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Dagger. The magic lamp granted a wish and flew off. You find the orb stolen by the Prime Minister among the treasure the pirates left behind. You reclaim the stolen royal orb. The orb you retrieved must be returned to the castle. The princess and count can't contain their surprise. They'd already resigned themselves to the worst possible outcome. You've won a great deal of favor from the royal family. The princess smiles upon you, and Dean trusts you implicitly. The succession imbroglio has been dealt with. Once the king is buried and parliament approves, Dean will succeed the king. Still, the future king wears a somber expression. He knows Hydland still faces many difficult challenges. The Shinyak Orc tribe is pushing in from the east, and more tribes are joining their ranks. They're an ever-present menace. Also, while Hydland is currently at peace, Bulgar will surely strike if they sense an advantage. Worse still, the evil enchanters of the Mornion religion have cast their lot with the Bulgan threat. You are beginning to grasp why the last king of Hydland risked his life to find the dragon's crown. I need it, Dean mumbles quietly.